Hey guys, it's Lisa. So you guys, today is one of the most exciting days. Today is the first day of food and wine here at DCA. So obviously I had to start at DCA and no, we are not getting distracted by anything. We are definitely here for food and not just food. I want to eat all of the new food they have because there's always so much delicious new stuff for food and wine festival. But anyway, okay, let's hurry up and let's get over there. <laughs> Okay, even though Pluto's right there, you guys, I said no distractions. So we are going straight to getting our Sip and Savor Pass. Yes! So Sip and Savor Pass not only acquired, but I already used five tabs. So I'm very excited. I have a lot of food to eat today. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am so excited. I got the first two things, and I did come all the way over to Smoke Jumpers Grill just because they definitely play all like top 40 hits over there, and Gwen Stefani was blasting for like 20 minutes. And not that I don't love Gwen Stefani, I used to love her as a child, but also, like, isn't she kind of problematic? Anyway, <laughs> I was doing it just because, like, I don't, you know, copyright strike. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, okay, I got two things. The first one is a little bit weird and I will definitely say when I was waiting in line for the second one uh, I could hear it snap crackling and popping and I was like uh, I already have a feeling this is a foreshadowing of something weird <laughs> but anyway this is the strawberry mac and cheese peanut butter mac and cheese wait I don't even know what I'm saying but it's the peanut butter mac and cheese that's what it is but it's peanut butter and jelly mac with brown sugar streusel and strawberry crackle um, I have a feeling they put Pop Rocks in it, because that's what it sounds like. Anyway, let's take a bite. Okay, we gotta get everything in it. Let's get that streusel, the red Pop Rocks, and you can definitely see they poured jelly straight on top of it. Okay, let's go for it. I got kind of a big bite. Oh no. Okay, first of all, that's definitely, definitely Pop Rocks. You guys, I think that is the weirdest thing I've ever tasted. It tastes just like peanut butter and jelly with Pop Rocks. It's not mac and cheesy. Like, it's not like, there's no, it's like not cheese. This is so weird. Okay, I hate this. <laughs> I mean, it's so bizarre. I'll take another bite. It's so bizarre. It's not even interesting. It's just bizarre. I mean, okay. That's what we're here for though, right? To just feel weird about foods and intrigued, intrigued. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the golden child of this meal versus like, you know, that weird black sheep? Um, this looks so good. Okay, so this is the IPA sausage dog and it's a soft pretzel roll with onion, pepper, jardiniere. I think that's basically just like vegetable slaw and then cheddar cheese sauce, malt vinegar, jalapeno crunch. You guys, okay, this is definitely gonna be the redeemer here. Oh, it is messy and cheesy. Yes, okay, it is, so, oh, it's a little, yeah, it's messy and cheesy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that Hawaiian roll looks so good. You guys, there's cheese all over my hands. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, let's go for this super cheesy bite. This is delicious. Okay, it's not spicy at all, if you're wondering. And the bun is really soft and really like delicious and doughy, yeasty. And the sausage has a nice little bite to it. And then the cheese sauce is like your regular old nacho cheese. It doesn't really have as much very elevated flavor. You guys, this is good. And they serve it at the booth that has all of the beer. So like, this is definitely a perfect combo. Okay, yes, golden child, um, black sheep. <laughs> That sausage dog was so good. You guys definitely have to get it. And if you feel like you want to taste something weird, I guess get the peanut butter mac. It was so weird. <laughs> but anyway, okay, let's go find more new stuff to try because you guys, there's so much food. I feel overwhelmed. Like it's like too much food and not enough time. Okay, so over at the garlic kiss booth, they have grilled top sirloin and this has gruyere mashed potatoes and it has chimichurri, which it does look really oily I will say that so mm, that's not great but I'm excited to try it nonetheless so okay let's get some of this some of this top sirloin yes okay and let's definitely get chimichurri okay. mm. 
Oh wait, the chimichurri tastes really good. Um, but I will say the piece of the steak that I got is, it was a little bit tough and it wasn't that fantastic. And I, hmm, I don't know if I like the potatoes. Okay, so I think I like the potatoes on their own. You definitely can taste the gruyere in there, which gives it a lot of richness. But I don't know if I like it all together because I feel like it's a little bit too rich. And okay, let's let's try another piece of the sirloin. I'm gonna give it another go. Oh wait, that one was better. Oh wait, this dish is like super rich, super heavy. I don't think it's that bad, but I don't think it's the best thing that I've had so far. Okay, I kind of veered away from like the festival food booths, but I'm in Avengers Campus right now, and it's because they have two special things for food and wine, which is pretty cool. I mean, they have a pim particle thing that's in a spring flavor. I don't know what that means. And then they have a taran treat that has like berry compote on it. So I think we should get that. Yes, okay, I am so excited for this. You guys, this taran treat looks so good. I didn't realize that it was gonna have periwinkle blue sugar on it, but I love that. It's a yellow strawberry churro. And yes, it has that periwinkle blue sugar on it, which is amazing. And then it has raspberry jam on top of it. She also said, she asked me if I wanted the jam or not. So if you don't want it, then you could just have the churro on its own, but definitely jam for me. Although you guys, oh my God, look at the bottom of it. It has a very soggy bottom. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and give this a bite. How is this gonna work? I feel like I should have gotten a fork for like halfway through when it's too soggy. <laughs> but okay, let's give it a go. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Okay, first off, it's messy. <laughs> Second off, oh my god. But, okay, that's pretty good. I don't, there's not a lot of taste. I feel like I have jam all over my mouth, so. If I look at this later and there's stuff all over my face, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the churro just tastes like a, like a churro, but without the cinnamon sugar on it. Like, it doesn't taste sweet at all. And really, it's just that jam on top, which is pretty good, which is like where you get the sweetness, but. The churro on its own is like kind of boring. I wish they had a little bit more flavor to it. Let's give it another bite. Ooh, oh my God, it is so yellow. You guys, I'm gonna show you, it's so yellow. <laughs> okay, so I just took another bite of just the churro part and yeah, it's so plain. There's like no flavor on it. So mm, this one is okay. I, yeah, I don't know if I would get it again, but it's interesting and it's so yellow and I do like jam. Wow. Check it out, you guys, it's Goofy. Hi, Goofy. <laughs> I came over to LA Style, which is the food booth that's all the way over here by Monsters, Inc. Over here. <laughs> but they have new things, so I definitely wanted to get something. I have to decide what to get now, though. Hmm. Okay, so I just went to LA Style and they have two new things on the menu and honestly, in the pictures, they both look phenomenal and then when you see people walking around with the food, they look so good. But they have two options. So the first one is the glazed barbecue pork belly with birkake togarashi mac salad. It looks so good, you guys, like incredible. And I didn't get that one because I wanted to try the vegan option. The vegan option is the gyro, gyro, hero. Gyro. Gyro. Don't judge me. I can't speak words ever. <laughs> but the Gyro. inspired flatbread and it's featuring impossible ground beef with chipotle hummus, tzatziki, and spiced crispy chickpeas. Okay, you guys, listen. I already took a couple bites of it because it looked too good and somehow I'm still hungry even though I've eaten so much food today. <laughs> but this is delicious. This is so incredible and so flavorful. So like the hummus, the chipotle hummus is so flavorful. It's like zesty. And then the, ooh, monorail. <laughs> and then the 
tzatziki is nice and cooling and refreshing and the pita is like super fluffy. I love that. And the ground beef, the possible ground beef is so good. Oh, and the spicy chickpeas. You guys, they're really spicy. Not like super spicy, but they pack a decent little spice bit to it. You know what I mean? This is so good. I would definitely rate this and that IPA sausage dog as like the top two things I've had today. These, like this and that, so good. So good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, 10 out of 10. That was 10 out of 10, so good. But anyway, okay, you guys, I've had my fill. I am so full of food. <laughs> but I was thinking that I would go over to Five and Dime because I know I took like a little bit of a peek at the merch, but now I feel like, you know, I can casually relax and take a look at the merch in a better way. Okay, so here's the food and wine merch. You guys, I can't get over this. This is so silly and funny. It's so detailed. And then, uh, let's see, this is the spirit jersey. It says food and wine, what's on the back? Oh, it has like all the little California adventure icons. Oh, that's cute, so it matches the ears a little bit and it says, life is great. And then they have this baseball tee. It says, golden state of mind. Let's see, is there anything on the back? Oh, it has the food and wine logo on it. That's cute. And then they have this burgundy little pocket tee. It has food and wine on there, it's printed. And then, oh, it has this giant graphic on the back. And it has all the California Adventure icons on it. Very cute. They have this gold wine tumbler, and it's by Corksicle. Very cute, oh yeah, they're the sponsor. And then this hat right here. Oh, and it has burgundy lining right there. And it has the food and wine icons embroidered on there. There's a food and wine zip-up hoodie in like a heather gray. And it has the food and wine icons on the back and the logo on the front. And the last little section has this apron right here with all the same iconography on it. And I was gonna say, okay, you guys don't kill me. I'm like never in the kitchen, but this is, um, this is like what you would put like hot plates on, right? I mean, right? I, you guys don't kill me. I just don't know. <laughs> Okay, but let's see. So the same gold corksicle tumbler. And the last two things, they have wine glasses. So they have a stemless one and they have the one with the stem. And it has the same graphics. So the same logo. And then the same California Adventure graphics. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. You guys, I was gonna say that, I don't know why, but I originally thought I was gonna use all eight tabs on that Sip and Saver Pass today. And now I'm like, wait, that was kind of unrealistic, right? I mean, not too far off unrealistic, but like a little bit. <laughs> but either way, this festival goes on for almost two months. So we are definitely gonna come back and eat so much more food and maybe some wine because, you know, I didn't do any of that today. <laughs> but either way, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> See ya.